friends, and welcome to Rotten Tomatoes Countdown. Michelle Yeoh just recently added Oscar winner to her resume, but the actress has been putting forth impressive and diverse performances for decades. I mean, she's literally one of the greatest action heroines of all time. So that is why we are gonna kick and punch our way through her 10 best films by Tomato Meter right now on Countdown. Starting with number 10, Far North. Taking us in the right direction to kick things off is this indie crime drama based on a short story of the same name by Sarah Maitland. In it, Michelle Yeoh is one of two young women living a nomadic existence until an injured soldier, played by Sean Bean, shows up in their lives and things eventually start to, well, go south. It's kind of funny that when things are going well, we never tend to say, things are going north right now. Anyway, Far North is beautifully shot and Yeoh's performance is very strong but it is that wild ending for her character and the film itself that will have you looking for other people who have seen it so you can totally discuss. When I was born, the shaman looked at my face and had a vision. He said that I was cursed. Number nine, Tai Chi Master. This 1993 martial arts film from Hong Kong was produced by and stars Jet Li, who plays one of two ex-Shaolin monks who take different paths in life and eventually face off in an ultimate battle. But before that happens, they come across a young woman in a pub played by Michelle Yeoh. She's there to find her missing husband, who she spots at the pub with someone else. And that leads to pretty much the most epic fight scene ever and one that will make you love Michelle even more. Try to stop them. Just stand back and watch. I mean, what? She's literally unstoppable. And what's really cool is that Yo and Jet Li would actually work together again 15 years later in the Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. But that movie is quite rotten and Tai Chi Master is quite fresh. So, enough said. Number eight, Master Z, Ip Man Legacy. This spinoff of the Ip Man film series features Michelle Yeoh in a badass role as the head of an organized crime syndicate. Her character is trying to turn the business legitimate and she's willing to do, well, anything. As in, she may or may not cut someone's arm off. But, and more appropriately for this show, she also loves to discuss her business over drinks. This drink, I'm this fresh film was directed by Yuan Wu Ping, who Yo also worked with on Tai Chi Master. Love that. And while Master Z is definitely a departure from the franchise it comes from, it received mad respect from critics regardless. And of course, it's another feather in the diverse acting cap of Yo. Number seven, Sunshine. This sci-fi thriller from 2007 was directed by Danny Boyle, and it takes place in 2057, where the Earth's sun is dying off. Um, that's not gonna happen in 30 years, right? A crew of eight men and women head up into space to try and save the planet, and that includes a biologist played by Michelle Yeoh who handles the ship's oxygen supply. I'm guessing you've been talking to So. So do you have that report for me? Yeah, right here. The O2 productivity is good. In fact, if anything, we're overproducing. It will tail off dramatically when we get nearer. But in truth, we already have the oxygen reserves to make it there and a quarter way back. You're thinking about Icarus One. No, whatever it was that tripped them up, I don't think it was the lack of oxygen. 
Boyle said that he cast Yo based on her performances in movies like Tomorrow Never Dies and Memoirs of a Geisha. And she was joined in this one by stars like Chris Evans, Killian Murphy, and Rose Byrne. The result was a film that didn't do much at the box office, but is a certified fresh hit with critics and audiences. And seriously, that's not gonna happen in 30 years, right? Number six, Kung Fu Panda 2. This sequel to 2008's Kung Fu Panda brought the return of stars like Jack Black and Angelina Jolie, along with some new faces or voices with people like Gary Oldman and Michelle Yeoh. Michelle plays a goat soothsayer in a place called Gongmen City, which actually happens to be a real location in China. But she hangs out at Gongmen Palace and likes to speak about prophecies. Look into your bowl and tell me what glory awaits. If you continue on your current path, you will find yourself at the bottom of the stairs. I see. I see. I see pain Ow! and anger. How dare you! That is the finest silk in the province! Followed by denial. Now this is not fortune telling. You're just saying what's happening right now. <sighs> and all I'm saying is if you can play a fortune telling goat, you can literally play anything. Bravo, Michelle. Okay, friends, here's our list so far of the best Michelle Yo movies. Number five, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. As the second installment in the MCU's Phase 4, this marked the first Marvel film to have an Asian lead and director, not to mention the first with a predominantly Asian cast. That includes star Simu Liu as Shang-Chi, with Michelle Yeoh in a supporting role as Ying Nan, who happens to be Shang-Chi's aunt. But unlike any aunts you know, probably, this one isn't afraid to teach you a lesson the hard way. Raise your hand if Michelle Yeoh fight scenes are your new favorite thing of all time. I mean, she literally makes me feel like I can take on the world from my couch. And by the way, it is not that surprising that she's great in this movie, given her previous Marvel experience as Alita O'Gord in a Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 post credit scene. And if that was a spoiler, just blame my writer. Now, the certified fresh Shang-Chi was not only a hit with critics, but it also has an audience score inching very close to 100%. And the general vibe is that they love seeing the franchise covering new cultural ground while keeping the same MCU film elements that we've all come to expect. And Michelle Yeoh, obviously. Number four, Crazy Rich Asian. This rom-com based on author Kevin Kwan's 2013 novel of the same name about a native New Yorker who goes to Singapore to meet her boyfriend's rich family. Constance Wu and Henry Golding star as a young couple in love while Michelle Yeoh plays Henry's domineering mother who doesn't think Wu's character is good enough for her boy, which is not all that uncommon, but seems to matter a little more when mom's loaded. It took many years and she had good reason to be concerned. I had no idea the work and the sacrifice it would take. There were many days when I wondered if I would ever measure up. But having been through it all, I know this much. You will never be enough. Along with Wu, Yo was part of director John M. Chu's dream casting for Crazy Rich Asians, which is certified fresh at 91% on the tomato meter. And while the ensemble cast gets plenty of love as a whole, Yo's performance was repeatedly singled out by critics, even for just how unfunny she was in a comedy setting. Go figure. I mean, I would kill to have her as my mother-in-law. Number three, Supercop. 
Jackie Chan led the way in this 1992 action flick as a sort of super cop of the Hong Kong Police Department. For the assignment of bringing down a major drug lord, he teams up with the Chinese police's Interpol director, played by Michelle Yeoh. And much like the man that she's helping, Michelle's character is also highly skilled in martial arts. So you know what time it is. Here is another Michelle Yeoh fight scene. Step aside, I say. a big hit with critics. And of course, plenty of love was for Jackie Chan. But one astute top critic, Lisa Schwarzbaum from Entertainment Weekly, called Michelle's performance, quote, the most powerful starring role for a woman that summer. Number two, everything everywhere all at once. This comedy adventure was the breakout hit of 2022, ultimately winning seven out of 11 Academy Award nominations and topping the Rotten Tomatoes Awards leaderboard for the season. Now, among those Oscar wins was Best Actress in a Leading Role for Michelle Yeoh, who stars as an exhausted Chinese-American woman who just can't seem to finish her taxes. I cannot think of a more relatable plot. Instead, she gets swept up in a wild adventure where she can, you know, save existence. Typical excuse to not finish your taxes. scored big at the box office given its independent status. And it wasn't just Academy love for Yo, she basically needed a big old truck to carry all the awards and praise that she got for this certified fresh gem. And speaking of, it was clearly a monster hit with critics with the overall consensus from them that Yo's performance was quote, outstanding. I mean, you'd have to have googly eyes if you didn't see or think the same. Number one, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. And finally, this action-adventure film takes place in 19th century China, where a warrior, played by Chow Yun-Fat, gives his sword to his lover, played by Michelle Yeoh, for safekeeping, but it ends up getting stolen. And once again, Yeoh gives a multi-dimensional performance that not only shines with her acting, but shines with her action, literally and figuratively, because, you know, she's using a sword. <laughs> <laughs> This is Yo's most certified fresh film at an impressive 98% on the tomato meter. And while her contributions are impressive, the overall package of amazing action, scenery, and drama is what really helped cement director Ang Lee as a major star and reaffirm that actors like Yoon Fat and Yo are true talents. Okay, I guess that is it. Although I feel like we could talk about Michelle Yeoh for a lot longer, or maybe I just secretly want to watch more fight scenes. For more on her impressive resume of movies, you can head on over to RottenTomatoes.com. Thanks for checking out today's list. Until next time, I am your host, Naz Perez, and we'll see you back here for more Rotten Tomatoes Countdown. <laughs>